So the news right now is that if you have the latest um, Sony TV, you and not just the latest Sony TV because you could have their mid range to low end uh, 2020 display. But I'm not really talking to you guys. I'm talking about people that have their flagship to <laughs> to mid tier flagship display. You are you are gonna be able to you are gonna be able to now get the the PS5 to work at full its full capacity of um four. 4k at at 120 fps uh, frames per second fps so the the thing here is that a lot of people have been kind of like saying the xbox uh new blu-ray console um had doesn't really have that that doesn't really um, have that much power behind it. So, to be honest, this would really put them to bed because um, a lot of people are still saying that uh, maybe Sony rushed to release the PS5 because Microsoft was trying to release their own Series X and they really didn't come out of the gate with a proper launch just a quick live and that's that was pretty much it um so that's uh that's uh what that's pretty much what um is going on uh, right now uh, as for the this as for the displays that can play um 4k at 120 hertz Per second, it is going to be LG's some of LG's top of the line OLED display. Um, I know of uh, Samsung having one or two that can do do that as well. So, but what I'm getting at here is that if your display can play 4K at 120 hertz and you probably got it this year, well, um, you will be good to play all your games there very well without any issue. And that is from someone that um already i have um i've already seen um many displays that will not be able to handle the intensity that the playstation um is bringing and that is uh what you you have to that uh, what you have to know right now and that is pretty much it guys um the playstation is in good hands right now so for the fact that it's going to be able to work well with the sunny display i think is a good thing uh be sure to follow us on social media subscribe to our channel like our content i'll see you guys next time